to start. There we go. All right, so here's what we're doing today. So I already told you your story. Today I get to teach you how to choose your social speech type, your topic, and your context. So in other words, you're gonna figure out the first part of your social speech. Next week, we'll write the rough draft, we'll practice it to make changes, and then make the final draft. So two weeks from Monday is when you perform it. In other words, not next Monday, the following Monday. All right, so let's show you how this looks on your handout where you're gonna write this. So this is task three. We've already done all this stuff, hopefully, and if you haven't, you have time today to get it done. So here's what you're going to write. So you're gonna show me your first thoughts on planning this social speech is what you're gonna do. So you're gonna write the type. So that's like wedding, wedding anniversary, wedding toast, what have you. And I will show you an example of how this looks in a moment. Then your topic. So if you're doing a wedding toast, who is it for? In other words, and then the context of my social speech. So the context of my social speech is, so write out what the imagined time and place is. In other words, you're setting the scene for us watching you perform. So it could be if you're doing a wedding toast, it could be this would be performed at their reception. Audience should keep in mind my social speech is going to be blank in tone. So you get to decide if you wanna go serious or if you wanna go funny. Both are equally good as far as grading goes, it's just a matter of personal preference. So that's all you need to write today. Let's show you an example how that looks. So I'm gonna show you a really good example and a not so good example. All right, so let's give you a good answer and like I said, a needs work answer. So good answer. Oh, that's evaluating social speeches. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Made it the same color. All right, so good answer. Type wedding toast. Not so good answer if you just write wedding. That needs work because it isn't clear if you mean a wedding toast or a wedding anniversary speech. Okay, topic. And you can actually use this kind of model. That's why I use it as an example. So it could be wedding of my cat to friend's cat. It wouldn't be as good to just write topic, cats. It needs work because it doesn't have detail. What about cats? Context, so giving the imaginary scenario and how this would be performed. So I'm the maid of honor giving a wedding toast at the reception to the happy couple, Precious and Tommy. Don't write for context. I had some of this last year, IDK. Like, why would you take the time to write it if you don't know? <laughs> Leave it blank. Anyway, that one needs work because it doesn't give any context. All right? So that's what you're doing today. It's real simple, hopefully. And if it isn't real simple, please shoot me a message. I would love to help you. And remember, Monday, I'll see you in person. Until then, use your time.